Madison, Brooklyn, 16-year-old Anaya Ferguson appearing in court late this morning to face charges for that violent fight which was caught on camera. Police say she was the ringleader and it's not her first run-in with the law. I witnessed in report Rob Nelson live outside the courthouse in downtown Brooklyn with more. Rob. Uh, hi, Dave. This video really is something that has shocked New York City in the last few days. And today, the alleged ringleader in that attack has now been formally charged. And we're also learning a little bit more about what exactly may have led to this attack. Now, this in this video, you see 16-year-old Anaya Ferguson. She's one of several young women caught on this disturbing video from inside a Flatbush McDonald's on Monday, punching and kicking the 15-year-old victim. Ferguson already has a lengthy criminal past and now is facing six more charges, including gang assault and robbery. We learned in court today that Ferguson, who already has 10 prior arrests, admitted to her involvement in the brawl and that she's also a member of a gang known as the Young Savages, a group already known to authorities for violence, even credit card scams. We also learned that the reason, perhaps, behind the vicious attack, prosecutors say Ferguson told authorities the victim had done something to a close friend of hers and that Ferguson had been looking for the girl since January. That's apparently what led to the brutal attack Monday night, where stunningly no one stepped in to help that 15-year-old victim. That girl at one point was pretty much lifeless on the ground, but still Ferguson kicked her in the head while she was down, and you can imagine this attack has outraged the community. We want to save our children, but I want to send a very clear and loud message that I do not accept criminal behavior in our community. We've also learned some other new information this afternoon that authorities are looking for five other girls captured in that video as part of the raw ages 14, so young, 14 to 18. They identify those girls through social media. Also, we're learning that the victim in this case, that 15-year-old girl, she too may have links to a gang known as the 30 Crips. As for Niagara Ferguson, she is now being held on a half a million dollars bond, and she's expected to be back in court for her next appearance on March 18th. We'll have a lot more of this story coming up in later editions of Eyewitness News. For now, reporting live from Brooklyn, Rob Nelson, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.